In my previous video, I did an introduction or quick tour on KDE desktop environment, which is a very popular desktop environment available for Linux user. Another equally popular and probably the most widely used Linux desktop environment is the GNOME desktop environment, which is developed by the GNOME project and was started in 1997 with its first release in 1999. Now the current version is GNOME 3.20, which was released just a couple of weeks ago on 23rd of March 2016. So what's up everybody, welcome to XPS Tech, I'm Vineet and in today's video, we'll check out the GNOME desktop environment, do a quick tour of the default GNOME shell and also check out how to quickly customize GNOME desktop environment with the help of extensions and third party themes. Now for the purpose of demonstration, I'll be using the GNOME 3.18 because as of today, the latest GNOME is available only for the Arch users and it is yet to arrive on OpenSUSE. However, all the things that we discuss in this video is applicable to GNOME 3.20 as well. All right. So with that said, let's begin today's video. All right. So this is the GNOME version 3.18.2 running on the latest and updated tumbleweed version of OpenSUSE Linux. Now, if you go to the GNOME website, the primary goal of GNOME desktop environment is to build a desktop environment that is simple and easy to use. And hence, their focus is on finer details of essential tasks and gives you limited customization options and shy away from high complex features that you get on other desktop environment like KDE. So do keep that in mind when you go for GNOME desktop environment. Now like KDE, GNOME desktop environment includes three parts. First is the graphical user interface or GUI part, which is called GNOME shell. Then you have the GNOME development platform. And lastly, you have the GNOME applications that comes bundled in with the GNOME desktop environment. All right, so now let's do a quick tour of GNOME shell. The taskbar or the panel, or in case of GNOME, it's called the top bar, is at the top of the screen. And moving from right to left, you first have the status menu, which contains shortcuts to your volume, uh, internet connection, Bluetooth, shortcut to settings, log off, and the regular restart and shutdown buttons. Then at the center, you have the date and time menu, which also display your notifications in case you have any. And then at the extreme left, you have the activities menu. Now this is kind of the main feature of GNOME desktop environment and it follows the uh, GNOME principle of simplicity to keep things neat and tidy at a single place. Now this particular menu displays all your open windows right here. In fact, let me quickly open something. Let me open a Firefox window. All right, so now let's go to the activities menu. Okay, now as you can see, you have the open window right here at the center. And on the left, you have a dock which contains shortcuts to all your favorite applications. On the right hand side, you have your virtual desktops or workspaces. And at the top, you have the search bar, which is used to search for any applications. Now at the bottom of this dock on the left hand side, you have the show applications menu which will give you a list of all the applications in a dashboard style. Now, as far as the customization options are concerned, you have very limited options to customize. There is no right click on the top bar to change its size, color, position, etc. And the same goes with the other elements of the GNOME shell. Now, the whatever little options that you have for customization is done using the GNOME tweak tool. So let's quickly open GNOME tweak tool. It's right here. Now here you have the list of various elements of GNOME shell on the left and the tweaks that are possible for that particular element on the right hand side. So for the top bar, you can either turn the application menu on so that it shows on the top bar instead of your window. And then you have the clock and calendar settings. So very, very limited amount of options available here. All right, now let me quickly show you how I customize my GNOME shell, which might be useful for you guys. Now, the first thing that I do is I go to Windows and turn on the Maximize and Minimize button, these two buttons, which is very useful. And next, 
and probably the most important is the extensions. Extensions is like the treasure of customization for GNOME desktop environment and uh, as you can see I have already added few useful extensions but let me quickly show you how you can add extensions to your GNOME desktop environment which is extremely simple process. So you go down and you click on get more extensions. Now this will open your web browser and it will take you to extensions.gnome.org. Now here you have tons of extensions to choose from. Now I have already added few important ones. Let me quickly add another very important extension. It's from Frippery and it's called Frippery Panel Favorites. So let me click on this. Now to add this extension, all you have to do is click on this slider and turn it to on. It will ask if you want to install it. Click on install. And that's all. So very simple process. And as you can see at the top bar, I have the Frippery panel, which contains all the shortcuts to my favorite application. So very simple process to add extensions. Some of the other useful extensions that I have added, let me quickly show you. Very useful is the dash to dock, which gives you a dock. You can get dock functionality from third party applications like Plank or Docky. Uh, but I think this gets the job done pretty well. Now you can also customize your extension by clicking on this settings button. And you can choose which position you want the dock to appear. You can move it to left or bottom. And there are many other customization options that are available. You can also change the behavior, um, appearance, you can increase the transparency if you want to. So as you can see, you have pretty good number of options to customize. Apart from that, you have net speed extension that will display your upload and download speed of your internet connection on the top bar. Then you have open weather that will show you your current weather update next to the date and time menu. Then you have this place status indicator that adds a places menu on the top bar which contains list of important uh, folders. Now another very important is the user theme extension. Now this is especially important if you want to change the theme of your GNOME shell. So just add this extension and then if we go to appearance right now it doesn't show the browse button to add shell themes. Let me quickly close this and then reopen. Now as you can see now we have the browse button next to shell theme that you can use to change your shell theme. Now I have already installed few themes from the gnome look dot uh, org website. Let me quickly go to that website and show you how to get new themes. So it's gnome dash look Now here you have themes for your GNOME shell. Click on that. And then you have a lot of themes to choose from. From here you can download any theme. It's usually in the zip format. And once it's downloaded, you need to extract the zip file to user slash share slash themes folders. Very, very important. Uh, let me show you which folder you need to go to. Um, so you go to root folder under that you go to user uh, share and here you have themes this is the folder and this is the folder where you need to extract your downloaded theme file or the zip file all right as you can see i have already placed few themes file here. Now let's quickly go to the GNOME tweak tool. So the GTK plus I have few options here. Let me change it to Iris light master. So the appearance of window has changed. You can also change the icons. So you can change it to new mix circle. Instead of super flat, let me change it to white or else Uranus all 
all right and we can also change the wallpaper so let me go to downloads and let me change the wallpaper and there you go so I think now it looks pretty cool you have the white menu you have the kind of transparent top bar which looks very nice we can also customize the dock more so let's go to tweak tool again and go to extension go to settings and let's go to behavior or appearance and turn off customize opacity and there you go now you have the dock also kind of transparent alright so now you can see with a few simple tweaks now our desktop looks a lot better alright so that was all for today thank you guys for watching this I hope you like this video if you do kindly press the like button if you have any comment or suggestion or if you want to see more such video kindly write in the comment section below all right and a huge shout out to all the subscribers of xps tech channel your support means a lot and frankly keeps me going so thank you for subscribing thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time